Hey guys, it's Becca. I am currently in a time, in a race dance time because my parents are about to come back from the neighbors. They're out to dinner and they're probably gonna wanna want cocktails and wanna talk and that's what I get for being 28, almost 29, living with my parents. But hey, it's all good. So yeah, story of my life. Big thumbs up if you still live with your parents, yay! And you're all like, she's crazy. But hey, it happens. Um, so today is going to be my monthly favorites video for you guys. So I actually had to write everything down because I've been feeling so unorganized lately. And I have everything in this little cute little basket. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. So I have the NYC Sunny Bronzer and I've been using the heck out of it this all month, as you can tell. This is great for very pasty pale people like myself. I can load it on and it doesn't look too bad. It looks natural and it matches the rest of my body. So yes, definitely been loving that. Highly recommend. And it's only $2.99 at Walmart. So definitely get this if you don't have it to your collection already. I have been raving about these shadow sticks like all month long. These are the Ma Mali um, Shadow Sticks, uh, Shadow Stick Extras. And I actually currently have the Shimmering Mauve on my eyelid. I'll swatch it for you guys. These are what they look like. And these have been my favorite. You don't need a primer with them. You can just put them on and go. You don't have to smudge it out if you want to. You are definitely more than welcome to do that. I actually was in Kohl's the other day and the bomb has something similar like this. I haven't tried it yet, but I definitely want to try them out. Um, and I also have the shades Champagne, Burnish Bronze, and Storm, and these are what they look like. I'm not gonna swatch them for you because they were already in my Ulta haul, so if you wanna check that out, you are more than welcome to. I'll link that down below. But yeah, these are awesome. They stay on your eyelids. They're practically budge-proof after, you know, you have a little while to play with them, and then um, they're budge-proof for the rest of the day. Uh, they're a little shimmery, but I don't mind that, and they have great coverage, so yay, definitely get these if you can. I got these for the 21 days of Ulta sale, so they are a little pricey, so if you can get an Ulta coupon or something like that when they have the Prestige coupons, definitely get them. Next, I have the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. This is what this looks like, and I got it in the duo with... Um, I can't remember what other mascara, but there was like the green one, and this is what I've been reaching for a lot as well, and it's a good mascara, it's very affordable, and I don't have many lashes, but this definitely gives it the volume and length that I don't have, so definitely get uh, recommend that as well. This has been a goodie for me. This is a MAC Lipstick and Twig. This is the perfect fall color. And I have been wearing the heck out of this. This is one of my favorite colors. I just recently bought this and I don't want to put it down. Um, I can't really say much more about it. It's just one of those things that I just always want to keep on my lips. So let's see what else I got. I have the Revlon Color Stay um, Normal to Dry Skin um, SPF 50 and I'm in the shade 200 Nude. This is an awesome foundation, you guys. It's full coverage. You can, uh, with one layer, you can, um, you can have light coverage, but with two, you can get full coverage. And I usually apply this with a brush. I tried to use it with a beauty sponge, but it didn't have the same effects. I also tried using my fingers. Best way to apply it is definitely with a brush. It's smooth application and it stays all day and it's also even sweat proof. So if you want a drugstore version of um, foundation that's just as good, this is your foundation to go. And wow, I am talking way too fast. Slow down, Becca. And I have another goodie. I got the Urban Decay Afterglow Blush in Rapture. I think Drea CN talked about this in her um, in her uh, fall tag and since Ulta was having their 21 days of 
beauty. This was like 11 bucks. And you guys, I know this swatch isn't even like justice right here, but you guys, it's a purple lush. I'm currently wearing it on my face right now. It's got a glow to it. It's pretty and it's like the perfect color for fall. And I'm so glad I bought this. Um, I know it's a little pricey, but I want all the other Urban Decay blushes like that. I'm having one of those days, you guys. <laughs> the next um, thing I want to talk about is the e.l.f. Uh, Kissable Bomb Stain. I think that's what these are called. And very sweet. And you guys, this is only two bucks. And this is also what I've been wearing. I'm not wearing it today. And this is probably going to break. But it's minty. It feels good. It's just one of those things. You have to constantly reapply it. But I don't mind it because the price is only two bucks. So why are you going to argue with it? And I feel like I also don't need a mirror when I apply this. Um, it's super affordable. So if you want a great fall color, definitely get this. Now for kind of like my high-end mascara, I don't really go for high-end mascaras because I switch out my mascaras practically every month because I use the heck out of them. Um, this is the St Stila Huge Extreme Mas Mascara. And you guys, like the wand, wand. This formula and this brush actually reminds me of the Better than sex mascara, the the sample. I think this is awesome. If I get more samples of this, I will definitely be using. I don't know if I'd buy the full size or not, but this is definitely a great mascara. Uh, it gives you the volume, it gives you the length and length. And honestly, if you were to give me this or the better than sex mascara, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I feel like they're almost pretty much the same product. So yeah. And the last thing I have for you guys is the Revlon Photo Ready Translucent Powder. I didn't have high hopes for this. I actually originally bought this. It comes with a little brush. Um, I didn't have high hopes for it. I needed a translucent powder and really, come on. Anyways. Ignore that because I'm gonna try to ignore that. Um, I needed a translucent powder and when I was doing the Revlon um, foundation it was like buy one get one half off and I had another translucent powder in my hand but I decided to go with this since the sale. Um, I tried it and I loved it. The coverage on here is amazing. It's very light it's it, it just works it feels good it looks natural on the skin and yeah um pretty much those are my september 2016 favorites if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and i hope you have a great day bye